He goes, dude, Jake wants you to be a co-host. I go, what the f Did you ask where she going, where she coming, where she staying? But the way he's, uh, the way he's <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fights, Sean O'Malley beat his ass. Ba, 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 ba. It was like a <gasps> Bryce's career just changed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cheated on her first. I was like, oh, well, f you, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shardy, what's his name? McGregor. Let's go. Oh. Hurricane Hillary. We haven't seen a storm like this since 1939. Is this my last day on the job? <laughs> <laughs> this, is it, bro. <laughs> this fight world could get kind of crazy. Um, I don't think any man should have to go through that. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Why do you have that face on your face? Because we already know what this episode's about, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much drama that's going on. And there's a little drama. Are this we a drama channel? Are drama, we a dra drama. We're, I drama, drama, yo mama. I just, I, I love these braids you got going on. What are they called? Braids. Nice. Ponytails? Uh, tails? I like your hat. Guys, we can't keep doing this every time we join forces. Every time we join forces, it's just a clusterfuck of everybody's ideas and thoughts. And this time, we're going to have respect for each other. Shut up. We're not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> welcome back, mouth, guys. guys. Um, this is my favorite type of podcast. This is the boys only plus Bell. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how to. What do we call it? Could you guys leave a know. comment? Say, like, what do you. Because we can't just call it boys only, right? I feel like because, people suggested good things. I just don't remember them. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's, we'll go back and review. That's probably on us. Um, <laughs> before we just jump into. Uh, well, I mean, drama. Well, first thing I, I feel like we should talk about is what everybody's talking about is this Dylan Dennis menace. Whoa. Dennis. Dillis, Dylan Dennis the menace. <laughs> <laughs> it's this, severe violation. Dude, this, like this is every man's fear. This is, this is the reason why on every fucking first date, the guy goes, so... How many guys have you been with? You know what I mean? Oh like, yeah. Bro, yeah, right? Awesome. But also, it's like... Dude, th there's some rules in the street, Dennis. And I'm going to tell you the rules, bro. Not trying to back my boy, Logan. But I got to back him up when there's wrong and there's right. Everybody knows the rules in the street is you don't bring children and women involved, bro. Yeah. But... Sometimes you have to, bro. But... No, what the fuck? <laughs> like, First of all, we'll pause that thought because I want to know what is your like <laughs> extend of like when you bring that in. But here's the thing. Don't dish out what you can't take. If mm. you bring, he brought his girl involved, Savannah. I remember that. Right. They brought his girl involved. And they were talking about, oh, she was in the DMs and all that shit. So, mm -hmm. like, I get it. But, damn, that's some pepped up aggression, bro. Yeah, he kept yeah, that yeah. shit in for a long yeah. time. Yeah. He First said, of all, oh. who the fuck is doing the research for you, Dennis? Who is this? <laughs> There's a the CIA. Full-time full -time The CIA, Dennis? Who's giving you this <laughs> shit, bro? And then he says he has a nuke that he hasn't even dropped. Brother, if what brother. you have... Is is the nuke. What the fuck was on this <laughs> shit? Dude, that's too much, bro. My I, boy is straight Oppenheim in real life, bro. Hey, question. Up, yeah. You said you got in trouble. <laughs> what did you get in trouble about? Before we started. Yeah. Yeah. Trouble? What do you mean trouble? Why are you giving me that face? I never get. You, you said you, you commented on something and you got in trouble. Oh, yeah. I won't say his name, but I, I might have commented a couple laughing faces on uh, one of the pictures that Dylan posted. And someone very close to Logan reached out and said, hey, you should probably take the shit down. Oh, can I oh. know? I'll be about the name. Um. <laughs> but he sent me but he sent me like th but he, bro, he sent me like 30 text messages <laughs> on a sunday i was trying to fucking enjoy my sunday and he's you like, just did laughing emojis dude i just put laughing emojis because it's a funny thing to that do that just goes to show how gnarly the content is that if you laugh at it, it's like bro that's fucked up yeah yeah yeah. You but know? he was basically like yo like if you want well, bro he's pretty he's hitting pretty much at home dog you can't you, like that I mean, I can't say who just texted you that, but yeah. like, I mean, listen, Dennis the Menace, he crosses lines. Like, that's <laughs> so, that's so a bad. little far, bro. Like, I don't think anybody deserves to be put through that type of shit. It's just, you know a, I mean? it's really deep. And what kind of sucks is like, I mean, now she gets all the repercussion. She's like, not even part the what? of the repercussion. Nice. nice. Thank you. Good job. Um, you know what I mean? Now it all falls back on her and she's not even involved in yeah. this. Like, yeah. I'd be like, no, no, no. She's definitely involved in this. Yeah, but if she didn't sign up, well... I, I, honestly, I, but it, you know what I mean. Like, do you think Logan prepped her for that? He's like, "Hey, right. funny, I'm about to take this fight. <laughs> right? This Just might get ugly. Aware, do you think yeah. she knew? No, that this you could wouldn't happen? think that would happen. Bro, would... <laughs> bro, it shouldn't have happened. That's like, you take a shot for sure, bro. But yeah. now I'm confused. Is Dennis fighting her now? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a little too far, bro. It's too far. It's yeah. too far. Also, just, just like the cadence of the post that he's put up, it sounds. This feels like a plan, like it was strategically like planned out. 
Mm. Tommy. Play Here's on. the thing. Yeah. I, I have to be the voice of reason, right? Because everybody's expecting me to be like jumping on and be like, yeah, Logan, that's what you get. No one deserves that, bro. No one deserves his girl being dragged like that. That She's a nice lady to him. Yeah. They, they have a good relationship. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? I, I mean, I can't say too much. I haven't spent too much time with her, right? So, like, I don't know her if, like as a human being at that level. But... She makes him happy, and this is between two men. If you're gonna take your shot because he took his shot at your girl, for sure, bro. Like maybe, maybe five pictures, <laughs> maybe ten. That's We're still at fifty-seven like pictures yeah. right now, bro. Fifty-seven. Is there a live 50s? counter? No, there is. There, I'm not even joking. There is. There's people that are counting how many. But also, I have to, I have to stick my neck out and tell them what's true or not. A lot of them are like Photoshop, right? So it's like, yeah. bro, yeah. I just, here's my overlining thought process of that. I think this fight world could get kind of crazy. Um, I don't think any man should have to go through that. You know what I mean? Watching yeah. his girl fall apart behind scenes, it's fucked up. And if it's true that he did send like legal like notice, like, hey man, like cut it out. I think it's cool to sell tickets. I think it's cool to get that shit in. But again, this might linger in this girl's life for a very long well, time. Or we yeah. don't know how it's de- like how she's dealing with it. She could be completely like <laughs> rised above it and be like, oh, this shit doesn't affect me. Um, or she could be completely like, fuck, this just changed everything about my image. Because remember, she's a model. She had her own career yeah. before Logan came in. You know, she wasn't just nobody. And then she was like, hey, let me date this guy for a, a, a career she had her own career that she worked very hard for yeah. and it's very uh, uh uh overwhelming to be like just yeah. bulldozed by somebody that you love's career that you had no part in mm. certainly when it's like truth mixed with lies like there's so much truth and then some of them are photoshopped the mm. general public are not going to know yeah. which ones write are off photoshopped the whole thing. there is yeah. some truth yeah, they're going to be like it's yeah. the whole i don't think she deserves what she's going no. through no i don't and think so I'm, I mean, you know, I'm not in the fighting world, so I don't remember pr- properly. But I remember there was a time when McGregor was finding somebody. And before, there's like the, nobody crossed that line of like their women. Mm-hmm. And I think one person crossed that line with McGregor, right? Then they yeah. like post something about his wife or something. And that was like the, you know what I mean? The last For sure. straw. First of all, look at you with your Let's fucking go, call. Look at you. Yeah. Let's go. That's right. All right. I, I know something. Hey, Shardy, what's his name? That fighter? <laughs> McGregor. Let's go. Oh. Uh, speaking of fights, why don't we, I guess we're gonna, by the way, this feels weird, right? Cause like every other podcast in the world's discussing this, but I feel like a cheating fuck. That's like, yeah. And you know how, like when you divorce somebody and they start doing bad, you're like, yeah, motherfucker, you deserve like, it's yeah. not a thing. Not, it's not like this, but I do have to talk now because I was brought into the fucking mix. You sure were by Jake Paul, uh, inviting me on to his show. Yeah. As a co-host. <laughs> Hear me out, bro. I just, I think, I don't, here, uh. That was really well said, brother. That you know what I mean? Like, if, if, like, I have so many, like, you know, there's pros and cons to this shit, right? Like, you know, I'm, first of all, we're doing our own show. Mm-hmm. We have three weeks of episodes already locked in. We, we're, we're, we have our own path going, right? Yes, but sir. then I get invited on. Maybe I shouldn't be a co-host. Maybe I do an episode. Maybe I do two. Maybe, Maybe I do whatever the fuck I want. You know what I'm saying? Okay, shot, well, for, okay fuck. There's so much I have to unpack here, right? Yeah, yeah. I have take your my, time. Take your time. I have my, <laughs> this is a podcast. This is, yeah. <laughs> Slow We're only down, 10 Turbo. in. I got Slow rid down. of everything I wanted to talk Wait, about. Wait, I got a question. Is Do you feel like Jake is actually asking you to be a co-host? Like, do you think this is a real So offer? a lot of people, you know what I love is that all these people, th- listen, nothing makes me like giggle more when people have no idea what's going on in my life that hit me up and be like, listen. Listen, this is what's happening. I'm like, really? Explain it to me. Because I have no idea what's happening in my life. Me and Jake have never stopped talking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I very much kept in contact with everybody that I used to keep in contact with. The only one I'm not talking to right now is Mike and Logan. Uh, I kept me and Jake's uh, relationship private. I wanted to get him on my podcast for his fight. I wanted to do a little bit more with the promoting. I showed him love behind closed doors. Uh, cause our relationship, it, it, it never had any, yeah. any yep. problems. Uh, I think he was just kind of coming from a place where he's like, and also here's another thing. I, I sided with George and dude, you got guys, he had your back, bro. guys, yeah. listen to me. I kept my mouth shut the whole time for mm. many reasons one first and foremost i wasn't a, i wasn't raised to go and be like this is what i dealt with i wasn't 
I told people how I felt. That backfired. <laughs> so then I was like, I'm going to take a backseat on that. And then there's also the legal issues, right? So yeah. mm-hmm. I'm... There's some people out in the world that are like, did, was he a piece of shit? Did he take advantage of his friend? Did he do this? And that kind of hurt my feelings, right? I mean, like, because I know who I am as a human being. But I was like, whatever, the truth will come out. I literally said this in a podcast with Howie Mandel. I was mm-hmm. like, the truth will come out. Mm-hmm. Brother. That wasn't that long ago. When, <laughs> when I wake later. up, I woke up to like, oh, uh, and by the way, the day that I woke up, I'm not going to mention which guest it is, mm-hmm. but we just shot an episode with a very, very big guest. Very mm-hmm. exciting. And I was very, very, very excited about this day. I was like, oh my God, like, you know, this is going to be a really good day. I got to get up. I have to have positive energy. Now, usually I don't like to touch my phone right away because I'm like, yo, like, if you read something that bums you out, it's going to mess up your energy. Like, just yeah. don't. Just stay away from the internet. Yeah. But it's hard not to. But when I looked at my phone and I had like a hundred text messages, my DMs <laughs> are out the ass. I'm getting so many notifications on Twitter. I'm like, oh, no. Something it's, happens. Something happens. That must be yeah. a crazy moment before you click on any of them. It could be anything. It could be anything. But you weren't expecting that. No, bro. I get the first text I read is from him. He goes, dude. (laughs) The manager, the manager. He goes, dude, Jake wants you to be a co-host. I go, what the fuck? I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, go read the uh, go watch the podcast. So the first thing you do when you open up a podcast, first thing you do is read the comments. You're like, yo, where is this going? Right? I don't even know if I want to watch this today. You need a sneak peek. Yeah. Uh, and when I watched him, uh, dude, first of all. Yo, not to just sit here and be like, this is about me, but like sitting here getting ready for a big guest, watching somebody you respect and you grew up with in the industry, have your back publicly. Then his friends like, by the way, his music rocks. And then his other friends like, by the way, this guy's actually a nice guy. I'm sitting here like, oh my God, oh my God, this is crazy. Thank you so much. But also here's, here's, here's my last thing that I want to say about it. I think... The way Logan handled Jake's win or loss was disrespectful. But I think that they've came to this situation where their private life and their business life and their personal life, it gets blended in together. Mm -hmm. Now, the situation that Logan's dealing with with his girlfriend and Dylan, the dentist, the menace, and then the situation with Jake and Logan, to me, are completely different. Mm -hmm. There's a guy out there that's trying to break a home between Mm -hmm. him and his girl. And then you have your brother. Now, I, I get you guys, um, you have this, you've had this in your career where you guys go after each other. And now that I'm kind of like the, the man out of the picture, I want to say this from a loving heart. Um, keep it between you guys. Don't put it on camera anymore. I know Jake did that because he had to really stick up for like what Logan did. He had to kind of put his, his heart out there to let people know how he felt. Yeah. But keep it between you guys. You guys are brothers. I don't want... Uh, the money or the fame or, or the access. Cause remember you guys have two camps, right? You guys have your people and then he has his people and those people could whisper the wrong things in your ears. This is your guys's home. All the people that you look at your brand managers, your managers, your camera guy, all those people were not there when you guys were sharing each other's first birthdays, fifth birthday, sixth birthdays, high school, you know, all those, all that's family. You can't get rid of your family. So Keep it between you guys. You guys love each other. I know you guys love each other. Uh, it, it could get competitive and it could get crazy in this world that you guys live in. But never, ever, ever forget that you guys, at the end of the day, you guys came through the same bloodline. Don't let this world tear you guys apart. Your mom and dad worked way too hard for you guys as kids to stick together for you guys to, when you guys get to where you're at, to separate yourselves. Now, I know there's personal things that are happening between you guys uh, behind closed doors. If you guys want to make it work, keep it behind closed doors. Uh, that's or the last come thing. on this podcast and really absolutely. Just, just air it out. Like, if you we really can all want get to get the bottom of it, it. <laughs> come here. The George Shanko show. The George Shanko show. We'll talk about it. We'll bring GP in a Live bunch therapy of therapy session. A bunch of Bud Light. I think he likes Bud Light. I think that's what <laughs> GP likes to drink. Is that what he likes to drink? Uh, yeah. Um, but dude, think, no. Just real quick note. I think Jake really tried to do what you're saying though. Like he tried no, to I know, keep I it. I know. He did. He did. But mm-hmm. you could even tell in that last podcast, like he was so reluctant to mm-hmm. talk about Logan in any even slightly negative like. Way. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He had but a he hard had time. No choice. Yeah. And honestly, his co-host uh, Jasper was kind of like almost forcing him to say something. Again, bro, they're, they're brothers, and I think that they're they're just such fucking workhorses. You get what I'm saying? Like people forget that they're just from the moment their eyes woke up, like wake up to the to the moments their eyes close. They're just they're grinding. So, of course, you're gonna get emotional in this in this game. And I think at the end of the day, bro, you get really comfortable with your brother, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. 
I think that's what happened. I pray to God that they could figure it out because that, yeah. that'd be a shame. You know what I mean? Like you could make a lot of mistakes, but you don't ever want to make the mistake of going against family and having that ability of not being able to make it up. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like that's, that shouldn't be his enemy. He that's needs, crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know, what's interesting is like, there's really has it, there hasn't been any brothers that have gone through what Logan and Jacob gone through. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the first two that come to mind are Zach and Cody from sweet life of Zach and Cody, <laughs> but, but there's no other brothers that have like <laughs> achieved that level of success besides those two. And like, been able to like succeed and not fuck up their family like mm -hmm. you know? I, there has to be different brothers there, there definitely <laughs> has <laughs> there has to be more brothers i mean there's liam and chris hemsworth they that's true but oh, again like they're actors so they their personal lives are not online you know what i mean gq has the number one most famous brothers as peyton and eli manning <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> number one <laughs> Why did you charting? just turn into a fucking Hey, Jess, cow. number three is Ben and Casey Affleck. <laughs> Let's go, Who Jess. is Casey Affleck? He's he's really talented. Show he's me just, a picture of him. Picture. The ones with the no... Oh, no he's, idea. And he's way, really talented. You, no, no, no. Guys, Wait. guys, we can't go into this because this is a bunch of bullshit podcasting. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take it back from the pod where we're just bringing it about the boys. What's another topic we could spin into? <laughs> Let's talk well, about... Wait, do we rap on, J on Jake's stuff? Like, do you, is there Also, else? Jake's music video. Oh! We can okay. talk about the documentary. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't watch the documentary yet. And here's the reason why I didn't watch the documentary. Not because I'm not supporting him, it's because I fucking know him. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's like, but it'll make you feel so much cooler for knowing him, bro. Nah, no, no, you know, what I mean? I, it's just like if my sister is like, "Yo, I just dropped the documentary," I'd be like, "Bro, I recorded it. Like, what? I, I was with you. I don't need to watch it." Like, I mean, that's probably terrible. Go watch it. It's on Netflix. It's really good. But we watched the music video. <laughs> the music video. Yeah. Okay. So that keeps my attention because it's like three minutes, right? Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> but it was just bar after bar. No, it's not even bar after bar. It's okay. the fact that it's yeah. his life. Yes. Yeah. It's his life, his bro. His life. Damn, he should make a documentary. The you, music video. Wait, I, I, even <laughs> if you take, like, if you talk shit, right? Like, oh, he can't rap or he's not a rapper. And it's like, bro, like, really zoom out <clears throat> from your, from your, like, small mind, right? Zoom out. Even if he was a good rapper or not a good rapper, the rappers that are in this limelight that are sharing these music videos, they're paying for those houses. They're paying for the, the Lamborghinis. They're not theirs. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. all show. Yeah. These music, like a lot of rappers that are making this type of money, it's all loaned. Yeah. And then usually they have to break it to a it's whole different in level. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But this shit is really yeah. shit that he owns. Like, this, this is his life. It's all him, yeah. bro. This yeah. is literally, he's not just sitting there bragging about something he might have. Yeah. This is shit that he had. And the funny part is this is shit that he had. That's after the last fight. So now he has way, way more. more than that, mm -hmm. yeah. which like, is wild. In his way in, he was like rapping his lyrics. And his yeah, way in that show is so to sick. his fight where he <laughs> knocked down one of the greatest UFC fighters. Yo, I don't care if you don't like Jake. You're a hater, bro. This is yeah. what I feel like. Mm -hmm. I say this all the time. I go, who cares? They hate Jake. That's my motivation now. When Ooh. they say, they, when people like, when I see bad comments about me, I'll be like, well, bro, they hate Jake. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and this kid is doing everything in his power to be at the top and they still yeah. want to throw rocks at him. Yeah. You know what blows so my mind is that he goes, he shoots a music video, he knocks out ideas and then after all that, he goes and he shoots a podcast. Speaking of fights, Sean O'Malley. Beat his ass, bro. Jesus. Bro, wow. Are people like not happy with this win? They're saying that it was an early stop. I don't know anything about UFC, but all I know is after every single fight, people are like, oh, I wasn't for it. No. Like, there's always arguments over the decision. I think people are saying Aljamain Sterling was like, he should have, they should have called the fight earlier because Sean like beat his ass consistently for like five mm. minutes. Like it looked like it was too much almost. I don't understand that, right? Because if I was a ref and the guy's going like this, wailing his arm <laughs> and the dude's pounding on him and I'm reading these comments be like, early stoppage. Did you want his skull to be bashed open yes. before they're like, like, hey, let's check his pulse. Okay, he's dead. You know what's a good fight. Yeah. Like, what do you want? What do you need? It's kind of like, you know how like you're driving down the street and you like, you see like an accident or a fight. Like you kind of want to see something bad that happened, even though it's kind of fucked up. That's no, what no, no. You're, everybody's like that. But you that's, what, that's down, what fight yeah. fans are like. Like they want to see the fighters get really fucked up. And if they're dead, it's like, all right. That's you cool. know what I mean? I, I'm definitely that guy. Like I'm the guy who holds the guy back, but also is kind of like pushing him at the same time. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Dude, come on, come on. You're going to let him talk to you like that? Dude, come on. That's your mother. Uh, no, but okay. So Sean O'Malley, bro. Crazy way to get Beast. your title, bro. Insane. Dude, the way he just. When he won the champion, bro. He's like, did you see the video? This is my moment. <laughs> you see the video Sean posted after he won with the with the belt in his hotel room. He's just smoking a J. No, it's just Can him I in the you? mirror, and it's like he's like, "I'm the man." 
Who's the man? <laughs> <laughs> really? Got like a hundred million that. likes. He earned that. Oh, that's so Crazy. funny. Here's the thing, bro. Am I the only one when you when I watched him? He like walked out with his belt and he's smoking a J in his big ass hotel room. The first thing I thought about, I was like, well, now the hotel knows you smoked weed in <laughs> that. You know, am I the only one? This guy, I'm like, you know, you what? really think he's worried about his security deposit being taken yeah. away, bro? I was. I was like, bro, you just had a great night. Don't don't do that. That's the Middle Eastern in you, bro. He's, <laughs> don't he's, get kicked out. You know. Don't get kicked out. Yeah, I don't think he cares. <laughs> he's like, I'm the champ. The champ does what he wants. Yeah. Um. Good for him, bro. Yeah. What a crazy way to because, dude, like that wasn't an easy fight. I mean, look at the mm. other guy that fought him. Like that, it took him a lot. You know, it wasn't like a ground and pound. Like, bro, he literally just watched him mess up one time, and I watched it back so many times, bro. He he was practicing that like, like even yeah. backstage, he was practicing that hit, and so like he just saw that one. He he quoted. He goes, "You just have to mess up one time in front of me." And he did. And it just was. And didn't the guy recognize he messed up? Yeah, when he was down and they were like, you lost. He's like, okay. <laughs> no, I mean, when he, he was open, he missed his swing and then he was open for a second. You could see in his eyes, he's like, this dun, is it. Dun, dun, yeah. Dun. <laughs> right when he's open and then it's... But it was, I don't know, the, the no gloves makes it so gruesome because then when the no, guy... No, gloves. It's not bare knuckle. Tiny bit of padding. You're but yeah, it's of, not bare knuckle. You're thinking of Bryce Hall. No, the tape on Which their hands does not count as anything. They don't have gloves on. No, they have just, cushion on their on their thing. Okay, well, it's just, I don't know. She, she set so, up really good with the McGregor thing, for, and yeah. then she's like, no, you don't understand. It's just... <laughs> It's not what I was saying. Rap. Whatever, it doesn't matter. They're not wearing like Speaking big boxing rap, gloves. They're not padded. They're, they're not, not wearing not big two boxing gloves. Of, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. You know it's what I mean? It's different than boxing. I just think yeah. it was so gruesome watching him, the guy, and then it wasn't like he went down on top of him and went like this. It was like on the side. Like it was like I, a, like I this, don't regularly so, watch ooh. UFC, but when I do, I'm like reminded, like holy shit, people just casually watch this on a Sunday, like. Yeah. It's insane. It's like, terrible. It's so bloody. I wonder it's what like, would happen if, like, he actually, God willing, I never would wish this upon anybody. But like, if he actually died, like, would Sugar Sean be like? These are things to think about because it's not just like a like <laughs> Thank bah, you. Bah, 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 bah. It was like a <laughs> bah. But, like, that, There's a difference, you know. <laughs> Don't ever like try and no, kill somebody because you're not gonna. It's not gonna happen. You're like. Bah. <laughs> No, Ooh, dude, you don't understand. Fist. I literally, I tell her, I go, bro, be inside at night, like nighttime, be inside. And she goes, George, my whole life, I've been outside, I've been outside my whole life, and it's fine. I would go, yeah, it's fine, it's totally fine. But you're 90 pounds soaking wet, okay? A child could kidnap what you. What do you mean? When I'm at living spaces at, you know, 7.30 at night and the sun's about to set, I have to go home. You have a like, let me pick out my carpet. You know, I'm fine. I'm 25. You're in a department store, yeah. <laughs> okay. Listen, bro, I'm, I'm just outside. protective. I, I, listen. I see what happens in my ring app in the radius that I live in, mm. and it mm. scares the shit out of me. Can't do that. Okay. Yeah. In LA, I and get look it. at you, bro. No offense, but you, you like, you look like a teenager. <laughs> I could fuck someone. Up. You know. You know what? I'm fast. Wait one second. My dad's calling me. Hello, Dad. Not really. Hey, Dad. I'm I'm shooting a podcast right now. I really can't talk. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I can't believe you did this. Why would you do this? <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh, talking about your dad. We were wait, we're not done with the fight <laughs> stuff. Let's we, before we go into the family stuff, because there's definitely family stuff. Let's get into the let's finish off the the the, the fighting world. Bare knuckles, baby. Bare uh, knuckles. How okay. the fuck did Bryce Hall go from making TikToks? To fucking beating people's ass. Obviously, bro. you haven't heard the memo. My boy's been in some street fights. Oh, yeah, he's, mm. yeah, yeah. Dude, I remember really? when I said that joke yep. on Impulsive, and I felt guilty, bro. I was like, fuck. <laughs> and, then I, and then, you know, Bryce is a dope-ass dude. He knows, like, if you're so just nice, fucking bro. around, he'll, so he's, nice. he's, the, he's the realest influencer you'll meet. He's just a very mm. nice guy. Um, I, bet, I, I texted him. I was like, bro, go get this win. And the whole time, I'm like, dude, like, if he wins this. He put himself in a place where if he loses it, it's not that big of a deal, bro, because it's bare knuckle, and he's going up against a fucking a really good dude. Yeah. Uh, but when I watched him go bink, bink, and the guy was going down, I literally put the phone down. I put my hands on my face. And Bella goes, what happened? I go, Bryce's career just changed. <laughs> just completely flipped over. They come, everybody and their mother was like, my respects are up from. Like, so Think impressive. about it. No other influencer boxer is going to go in the bare knuckle world. Nobody. None. I'll Nobody. put any money in the world. Yep. None of them. You could have lost and you would still have everybody's respect. Yeah. You know? And the guy that he fought was a boxer or a fighter? 
He, I think he does fight. <laughs> he was a fighter. I think he's fights. I think yeah. he's a fighter. In yeah. what like category? No idea. No, oh, this okay. is probably he's a he's a bare knuckle fighter. I think he's, oh, that's he's his in specialty. That. Oh, yeah. Good for you, Bryce. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Very nice. <laughs> All right, you were saying something about my my dad. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. We were oh gosh when did when where were we when he called about Jessica Jessica was out. And he goes, oh my God. He goes, bro. wait, hold oh on. <laughs> We're getting in Jessica's situations now. Okay. Hey, wait, Jess, you might, could you come sit right here? Or I do you, you want to sit here or no? Jessica, we, I have pages to talk about you. Jesse. Let me just come paint on, the picture. You cutie. Let wait, me just paint the picture. On. I want to say I want part. everybody to shut up real quick. But I want to say your dad's part. Go ahead, please. <laughs> well, you can you set up where we were? Because I forget. <laughs> when you said this? I go, let me set up real quick. She goes, no, let me tell the story. I go, okay, go ahead. She goes, well, could you set up real quick? <laughs> no, I, I, I want to say what your dad You deserve to be cut off. I, I say, don't care about the comment section. I want to say too far. what your dad Sorry. said, but <clears throat> where were we? Was this right after we got back from Florida and your sister was out? Um, oh, this is recent. No, nah, all of the shit we're about to say is recent. Yeah, no. How about this? How about I'll tell my story and then it could parlay into your, your, your notes. Go. It's nine o'clock at night. <gasps> Jessica hits us up and she goes, we're going to go catch this DJ. And I go, who's this DJ? She goes, DJ Flamalamala. And I go, I've never heard of this person. She goes, he's not a big DJ. He's dating one of our friends. I go, where is this at? She goes, downtown Phoenix. I mean, downtown LA. I go, no shot. Be careful. No shot. I go, that's dangerous. I go, that's very dangerous. Did you hit yourself with the mic? Yeah, that's fine. That was a delayed response, bro. You just malfunctioned. <laughs> there was like because seconds. I kept looking over her, and she kept, she kept looking like she was recalibrating, and I was like, whatever no, she's doing it was just my wrist. There was nothing. Continue. Okay. So, uh, my sister is older than me, for sure, six years, but I still worry. You know, I'm a little brother, but I worry. And so, I go, you know, our governor says stay away from downtown, daytime or nighttime. I look at the news. Eight people shot. This is today. I go, okay. It's kind of getting a little hard to deal with. So I go, okay, Jess, hey, I don't feel comfortable with you going. She goes, hey, thanks for telling me that. And I go, great. <laughs> She's not going to go. She goes, still going to go. I go, wait a second. I don't think you understood what I just said. This is a very dangerous situation. She goes, no. I go, you know what? Hold on. Let me call my firefighter friend. So I call my firefighter friend. I go, hey, man, have a on speaker. Hey, man, uh, how, is, uh, how is downtown right now? <laughs> Ooh, I wouldn't go downtown. And I go, wait, why is that? He goes, I mean, I just cleaned up seven stabbings. And I was like, wow. Okay. And then her sister works downtown. And she has to have a personal escort from her car that's in front of the place to the establishment. Like the sidewalk to the front door. No, no, no. In front of the door. Mm -hmm. To the door, yeah. Because Jeez. there was somebody holding people hostage in front of it happens. their club. Oh, my God. So then I go, Jessica, please, if you love me, you wouldn't go. And she goes, George, you worry too much. And I go, fair enough. <laughs> I do. Which we'll get into what we did for the storm yesterday. <laughs> That will parlay into that in a second. Yeah, yeah. And I go, Jessica, listen, you're being selfish. And she hit me with this. I go, do me a favor. If you're going to do this, like at least tell mom, right? Let, let mom know where you're going. And she said, George, I'm a grown ass woman. I'm not calling my mom. And I said, fair, fair. I go, but you're being selfish because you're putting me in a predicament where I'm going to worry about your, like, your safety. And I don't love this. And she looked at me and she goes, well, you know what, George? For the first time, I'm going to be selfish. And she hangs Ooh. up. And I go, fair play, fair Damn. play. Damn. So I, then I go, hey, Jess? Siri, call mom. <laughs> Bro. You're calling mom I on fucking he six nine her ass mm -hmm. immediately. I go, mom, I just want to let you know what your stupid, stupid daughter's doing. Guess where she's going. And I sent her articles Damn. of all the stabbings and shootings and all that shit. I go, this is where this chmerta <laughs> wants to go. <laughs> and if you guys are what wondering what chmerta means, I don't know, but Bell laughed, so she gets it. It means stupid head oh. in Assyrian. All right, so Not I'm as like, bad as I thought. but also like, let me paint you this picture of like, Jordan comes home from the gym and he's like, oh, he's all worried about Jessica, and then he go, he goes, oh, she going on the balcony, and then he goes on the balcony, like she was outside, he goes on the balcony, steps up and go, he goes, did mom call you? And I'm like, <laughs> you called your mom on her? He goes, yup. I'm like, wow, you've never been the biggest like little brother booger I've ever seen ever. <laughs> little brother booger, <laughs> very childish. I called my mom and made her fucking stress out because she's a hypochondriac like me so she's having her own little moment
moment. I go, not enough. I got to call dad. I go, dad, Jesus. poor mom. She's really messed up about what Jess is doing. Huh? What is Jess doing? I go, well, call mom and figure it out. I sent the whole Avengers team on her. She still went. Wow. Okay, she still went. Hey, Jess, how old are you again? 36. 36. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, 36. And then... And then, and then, and then, and then, sorry, I'm really hyper right now, Celsius, shout out. Uh, I had a great night, by the way. She had a great night. Spoiler, 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 we haven't gotten there. Yeah. I didn't no, know, no, no. I thought passes. you might get kidnapped or something. The next day, my dad calls me. He's on, she, he's on speaker. Belle, go ahead, take the story that you were Now, this is just like a different time, just because, you know, I don't hang out with one of her friends. She's not doing anything crazy. She's just hanging out down the street. And, <laughs> and then to Georgie, he goes, he goes, where's Jessica? He goes, she, oh, she hanging out. Oh, well. Did you ask where she going? Where she coming? Where she staying? <laughs> <laughs> but the way he's, uh, the way he's, <laughs> uh, everybody do your best impression of that sound. It was good. It was a good. Impression. Got, what was, how did that? What did that sound like? Where she going? Where she went up at that time? Because it's like, uh, did, did you ask she was where waiting. she going? Where she, she, was, she coming? She was, where she staying? She was waiting uh, all week for that story, bro. It was so she funny. thought the build up was gonna be so. Before much we better. started this podcast, she's like, I have one good thing. <laughs> Wait, that was where she was trying to get at? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, mind you, when we were in the car and George is outside the aisle and bust out laughing, oh. and then I repeated what he said, George said, write that down. So I said, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your down. delivery was just so that funny. That was awesome. And then he said, and then you beat it. <laughs> and then he said, where are you coming and going? Oh, my God. That was so funny. It was just funny. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're, okay, glad, so, we're glad you're alive, Jesse. Okay. Sorry. Th again, these these podcasts are just freaking. Pff, we're just powering through them because yeah. we have a lot to say. Their work. Okay, so so last night we got hit with a storm. Hurricane, Hurricane Hillary. Hillary. Fake -ass we storm. haven't seen a storm like this since 1939. It's almost a hundred years. Hundred. So we're all worried, right? And gotta prep. I am a type of man that it's like. I, n I don't, not only do I worry, but I worry for the people that don't worry, right? So I double down on my worries and I try to protect. To pr I, I, I find myself to be the man of this house. So I want to make sure that everybody's safe and sound. That being said, here's a few pictures of the sandbags we put around our house. Garage, he, he, the front. Here's the generator that I bought. That could power the whole house. Here's the <laughs> snacks and food that these ladies picked at Costco. If in case we had to stay in the house for a few days, the muffins and Doritos that you guys see. Okay, oh, now yeah. take. Now take. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm not done. Hey, don't, don't cut me off. That's very rude. As I'm gonna a cut you off. The Doritos. Oh, no, no, no. The muffins Georgie wanted, and the Doritos <laughs> were to please George because he likes Doritos. And second of all, the bread was very smart because it's to make. Almond butter and jam sandwiches. Okay. Yum. So that was their food prep. Let me show you guys <laughs> what I prepped for food. Boom. That right there is six months of meals for me and my oh. friends. Oh. You're <laughs> such a doomsday prepper, How much did bro? you drop bro, on that? What? How much, how much did you drop you know, on I'm not exaggerating. I kid you not. I have at least... 55,000 rounds in this house, bro. When I mean doomsday, what did you just say? 55,000 rounds. Ammunition? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you preparing for like the purge? Like, went, what's going on here, bro? Hey, bro, whatever it is, I'm prepared. I and by the way, we're that. returning that generator. Why? Because that's only on gas. Bullshit. Let me tell you something. There's Bullshit. some that you could unpack and get a solar one, right? Free energy. Let the house. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going into. You need help. I do need you, help. You need. I like to prep, help. bro. I like to prep. If shit's happening, I want to make sure that all my friends and family could eat for a few days. You know what my mindset is? <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Hey, Thank you, brother. Hey, hey. I, I got, into, so a, I got into a fight with my sister. Jessica, we need to get the fuck out of here. I've had dreams. We're going to get hit with a new. <laughs> there's going to be a tidal wave coming after us. We got to leave. This You're not it. listening to us. She literally looks at me. She goes, yeah, dude, you could leave. <laughs> but I'm not. Dude, I call my mom and dad. I go, you won't oh believe my God, what bro. Jessica did today. She's not listening to me You're and my brat, dreams. You're a brat, bro. You're a brat. 100%, bro. 100%. Mind you, mind I, didn't, you. I didn't make myself this way. They made me this, this way. This was like 10 <laughs> minutes after the unexpected earthquake that we had. So 5. while 5. we're 5. awaiting, 5. while we're... 5.5. 5. 5. 5. And, and you my, get... I, 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 
But wait, hold on. Let me just say one more thing. I didn't even know about this earthquake until Bell was like, George, earthquake, George, earthquake. <laughs> this is how funny it is. Me and my mom are debating the Bible. I'm not even exaggerating. The mm -hmm. part where it went into an earthquake, when we was talking about the crucifixion, I go, Mom, see, this is when God shook the earth and it tore the ground. I swear, I'm not kidding. Yeah. I go, tore the temple. And I yelled at her. And then all of a sudden, the ground started moving. I'm not, I swear to yeah. God, I thought God got mad at me for yelling at my mom. I was like, okay, dude, relax. Like this. I was like, okay, I'm told my dad. And then she goes, no, we're having an earthquake. And I go, oh shit. So I, <laughs> I run downstairs to grab Jessica. This fucking dumbass. Headphones on, listening to music, bobbing. With the fuck are, the fucking are, you see cars going like this. She's like this. She's in a silent disco. She thinks she's listening to her music and she's really feeling it. I grab her, I go, I pull her inside. I go, there's an earthquake following me upstairs. And she goes, why are we running upstairs? You're not supposed to run upstairs. <laughs> Don't follow me during an earthquake. I'm not the you one know, to follow. No, not at all. You Where have are to you go supposed at, to go? You have to go low and you want to go like our you staircase be under a table. would be perfect because you don't want anything to fall on you, you know, things. Under yeah. archways is good. Yeah, yeah, doorways. That's like the foundation of the house. But mind you too, like normally in California, because we have so many earthquakes, you don't, you know when you get the thing on your phone that's like, Mah! Emergency. So many yeah. Amber yeah. That's scarier yeah. than the actual earthquake. You know yeah, what I mean? it's, it's like, so oh. scary. And we normally don't get those uh, those notifications when the earthquakes are happening because you find out afterwards. But this one, because they're prepped for the hurricane. I, I was actually sitting right here, sitting right here. And I'm drinking my coffee, and then the window starts to shake, and I was like, "Oh, a big truck must be driving by," because when big trucks drive by, our house <laughs> yeah, shakes. Yeah, like a semi. So I was like, "Huh?" And then I was shaking, and shaking. And I was like, "This is an earthquake, George! Earthquake!" And then he goes, Meh, dr "Stop, drop, and take cover." That was intense because normally there's no notifications like that, you know. No, it was a pretty big shake, bro. Yeah. It, it, no, it wasn't. You guys are I so thought dramatic. That, I, also, thought, also, I thought my girlfriend's dog was playing on the bed. I was in an escape <laughs> room, bro. Like I was chilling. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I was crazy. a little disappointed when it was just a drizzle of rain. Yeah. When I had sandbags. It was a out Tuesday afternoon house. in Seattle, bro. It was nothing, bro. Yeah, it was. It a, was a normal fake day. Ass, what, you know that was that was a Hollywood storm, bro. Yeah. It talked up a lot of big yeah. storm, but nothing showed up, bro. Mm. But you know what? Thank God for that. We were prepared, and we didn't need you. Uh, yeah, we were prepared, and nothing happened, and that is the outcome that you would want. Because yeah, the I prepared for my neighbors too, just in case they didn't prepare enough. That's really nice, bro. <laughs> Welcome back. We just cut something really racist. George just said, <laughs> "Thank you." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Oh, um, but another thing that I wanted to say about the hurricane that we were talking about last night is that, I mean, we were really fortunate in a case of emergency to be able to run to the store mm. and buy all these things because that is very expensive. Like the amount of money Georgie spent on sandbags, mm. expensive food, expensive, the generator, expensive, the uh, flashlights, batteries, all the things that you get in emergency just in case. Like that's such a luxury because those are things that you might not, God willing, might not need to use. And mm. then you just have all those things but we were like you know fortunate enough to be able to prep for that and that's just a really big blessing and i mean it would be really scary to be a family who's not you a lot of people most people can't do that you can't go get those emergency items and yeah which, which is really 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 crazy to mm -hmm. think about it really it is yeah. um But I think it's important now that we're kind of realizing that the world does kind of go to crazy places. I think people should start putting some emergency money aside, right? Yeah. Facts. Uh, because I couldn't count how many people were like, oh, that's expensive. Or, oh, this is and that. And I'm like, bro, you have kids. You know what well, I mean? like, also, like, make friends with your neighbors. Like, if you were in my neighborhood, neighborhood growing up, then my family would be very close with yours. And they'd be like, we're going to the Jenkos when some shit goes down. <laughs> like, there was a Mormon mm -hmm. family yeah. in our neighborhood. My parents weren't religious at all, but we'd go over there all the time. The Mormon do, family. Yeah. They're like, no, 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 no. You guys don't like it when we knock on your doors, okay? So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> they no, they the were the best, dude. And uh, their garage was just full of supplies. But it, And they gave our family backpacks that had jackets for all of us individually. Our names were on it. They're like, whenever anything happens, well. take these. Come to our house if anything happens. So, like... Even if you're not fortunate enough to have money to prepare for things, at least know your neighbors yeah. and know mm -hmm. who's there to help yeah. you. Because yeah. I guarantee you there's people around you that yeah. would love to help you. Yeah. That's so sweet. Wait, yeah. and you know what's so weird is that I also, when I was younger, when I was around 10, I had a Mormon family that lived across from us, and they did very similar things. I remember we had bikes, and they gifted uh, me and my sister helmets for our bikes because they knew that like we like couldn't really afford it, so they like got us mm -hmm. helmets. Like They did the same kind of things, yeah. and we knew they were the neighbors that we could rely on. Amen. My yeah. neighbors won't even talk to me, bro. 
Well, have you talked I mean, to them? have you looked I at try. yourself? <laughs> I look fancy. You, you look like your mixtape is still being in the works, and, and, and you just need a garage to record. They're waiting to see how it does. Yeah, Constantly they're waiting for you to release that video. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say something. Okay. Because we might have to cut This is the perfect platform for that. The other stuff that I had that I just did. I realized these episodes are like, if we shot an hour, 30 minutes is going to be yeah. used. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're just throwing pain at the canvas and seeing really, what sticks. We're really yeah. trying to see what sticks. Uh, okay. So here's, here's one. I saved the kid's life uh, two weeks ago, and I apologized for it. So let me... Let me what? Let me take you back a little a couple seconds. Story time. I went to a yoga place with Simi. Of course. Yogurt or yoga? Uh, yogurt. Frozen yogurt. But thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> so, so <laughs> You said yogurt. Very considerate. You very tea, very nice like... of you to ask. Uh, <laughs> you know, my chakra is very much in line. Now I was just trying to get some yogurt. Uh, I'm going, I'm going we're, we're on the sidewalk. We just got out. She's putting, I think she's putting money in the meter. We're walking in front and this toddler, like couldn't have been more than two years old, was sprinting towards the street. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Was sprinting towards the street. Like, in full baby run. You know where their body's too heavy? So, they're, <laughs> so, so their head is, like, leading Looked it. Like and, then, and you know whatever's stopping them is their forehead. Like, they so, could fall forward so, any second. So he's running like this. Dude, that's so good. Yeah, it's right? so Why do you have such a good baby run, bro? I practice it. Anyway, so. This was a memorable moment. He's running like this. Oh and I'm like, oh, shit. And the first thing that popped into my brain was don't touch this baby. That was the first thing because I was like, don't touch this baby. You can't just casually touch never a baby. You can't touch baby. Nowadays, though, back yeah. in the day, yeah. you like, could touch babies all you want. Dude, back 20, 30 years what? ago, you could discipline other babies. Like, if they were doing something wrong, you could be like, hey, baby, don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. And then and then the other parents were like, hey, what are you saying no to my baby? Like, oh, that baby wanted to touch fire. And I said, no. And then the baby would be like, thank you. And then the parents <laughs> would be like, thank you so much. And yeah. there would be nothing weird about that. Now it's like, hey, don't do that, baby. And people are like, whoa, who the fuck yeah. are you, buddy? Don't talk to my kids. You, you know can't I mean? even look at another person's dog nowadays. You can't. You yeah. can't. No, it's it's no longer right. This is this is the weird one. You could no longer go to a park and just look at kids anymore. That's weird too now, right? So <laughs> why would you do that? Anyways, George? dude, don't make this weird. Okay. Anyway, so, so there's a baby. I see this baby. He's he's doing his little run thing, <laughs> and immediately I go, "Don't touch that baby." But I was like, "Phew, phew." This car's flying by, and I was like, "Fuck, dude, whatever." So I reach out, I grab the baby, and I push him, and he fall on his butt. You know, like where you like, yeah, you go like, because I don't want to yeah. hold him, right? I feel like that's too intimate, yeah. right? But if <laughs> I just, just save his life. Just throw the momentum of yeah. his head going this way to bottom his butt. So he went, he went, and he you clotheslined the baby is I just what went, you're saying. Mm, you just clotheslined him. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's what's up. I pushed the baby down on his butt and then he looked back at me and he's like, why'd you do that? Right? <laughs> he said that? Yeah, he looked at me like, why would you do that? And I was like, baby, you're running into traffic. And then the mom comes in and the first thing I said to the mom was like, I'm so sorry I touched your kid. That was the first thing that slept out of my mouth. So I was like, I'm so sorry I touched your kid. And the mom picked up her kid. She goes, oh, my God. I literally blinked and he was gone. She's like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank Kids you so much. Kids are terrifying. Oh, yeah. right? my God. So I was like, no worries. But in my mind, all I kept thinking about was, bro, imagine my split second mind was like, don't touch that kid. Because like, what if the dad's coming? What like, if you what, get judged what, or something? Whatever. It's like, it's like, we'll just see what happens. And it's too late for that kid. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? Because of where we're at with society. I don't know. I just I felt like I wanted to talk about that because how weird is that? Like mm -hmm. we our our first thought is how do we look, and our second mm. because we don't want to get like the the bad finger of like yo that totally. kid. You know what I mean? Like yeah. w there's so much bad stuff happening now that we're scared of being grouped in with the bad things. If that makes any sense, how many? Yeah. So my brain is how many good things could have happened if they weren't scared of looking bad? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you're, you had to second guess your instinct that moment. Yeah. That could have slowed you down second guessing your instinct because you didn't want to touch him versus just like going to action. You and know? that's coming from you, which you usually don't have any fear of any public interaction like that. Like mm. you don't even think before yeah. you just talk to people. You're like, hey, how are you doing? Like we'll be in line and you'll just be like, hey, how are you guys today? Mm. Like you're the, you're the person that I can always count on to like. Yeah, but not children. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's, that's different. Fair. That's, that's true. Fair. Should we talk about Fousey too? I think we should talk about Fousey, but let's remember that this kid's going to seems like a mental state, mm -hmm. uh, which he's been at before. Uh, I don't know. I, okay, I'll say this. There's two sides of me. The one that's like, this is fucking entertaining as shit. Yeah. And then the other side of me that knows him as a human is like, e this is real and Concerned. it needs to be handled. Yeah. Um, I know that him and Drama Alert were going at it on a Twitter thing. 
They were, <laughs> dude. I didn't even know this. This is, is what a, you were watching, right? Bro, the, the I, live? listen, bro. I'm not. I don't like drama, but I do. It's like that. It's like I think everybody does, but like I try to work on it, right? It's like, it's like a sin that I do, but I want to work on it. So. I get on and I just hear negativity right off the bat. Well, it was toxic, yeah. bro. It was really, oh, yeah? really toxic. Well, if you feel that way, then why did you text me this at three o'clock in the morning with your mother? Blah, 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 blah? And I'm like, whoa. And so I was about to be like, no, I got to end this. But I was like, well, I got to hear how he responds, right? He's like, oh, yeah, is that what you're going to bring up? But you forgot the da 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 da. It felt like, like a TV show that everybody was kind of there for attention. That's the vibe I got from just listening to it. From a third perspective. Mm -hmm. It just feels <clears throat> gnarly when people say so much. Like things when you're listening to it, you're mm. like, this definitely should not be live. Mm. You know? I'm getting, uh, Fousey's giving me like Kanye Rampage vibes right now. I, I and think. it's concerning for sure. I mm. think that, I think that he's such a hard worker and mm. he can get the job done. And you, sometimes when you get to the limits that it takes to get to that next level, you have to push yourself. And sometimes if you don't, take a break i've I mean, seen you there yeah i i, I yeah. Okay, well let's not relax. to the same level let's relax. <laughs> <laughs> no but where it's like you're in the mindset of i need to push i need to push yeah. i need to push and you have to like i have to come up and be like bro you take a break you, you have to take a break yeah, you have it, to stop for a second and breathe and assess i think here's because you're just slamming your head against a wall you tell me to take mm -hmm. a break yeah right bell takes me to take a break my mom and dad will be like come to arizona take a break yeah. manager will hit me up hey take a break i have good people around me to be like hey man you're about to go crazy you need to take a step back it'll actually help you more exactly than if you just keep and going. you know what yeah. i've done and i've learned that this is the root of success uh Fousey, if you're watching this which i hope you are um just take a break, brother, and then come back to it uh, and put good people around you that care about you and care about your mental state and know that you are a star, bro. Nothing's going to be taken away from you. Uh, I think you're going to do really, really great in life. And I really would appreciate. Um, I mean, we like I would love like we talk privately, but I, I just want it to be out there from, because I, I've started to realize a lot of social people need to see it socially. Mm -hmm. So it's like you just take a break. Take a break. Nobody's going to think you're less of a man for taking a break. Every 100%. man that is in your field and in fields in other platforms where it takes a lot of work hours, they need to take breaks. Um, or you just you start caving in from the you inside. You cloud your yeah. own vision. Cloud, exactly. And then you're, you'll take a step back and you'll like look over the battlefield and say, why was I stuck on this path? Mm -hmm. I was just <clears throat> cutting through weeds when I could yeah. have taken a different route and it would have been a clear walk yeah. all the way to where I was going to. I think, uh, I think he's going to do great. Yeah. Yeah. Special human, for yeah. sure. How do people cheat? <laughs> Dude, that's Dude. what I was saying about getting ran Let over by a train. You. How do... Oh yeah, you fucked up. You cheat. Hey, you know what's so yeah. funny? Oh, Divid damn, Divid Divid oh my god, I love this. We're in Florida, and all I hear Reed go, "Well, that seems like it's your fault." And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, I turned around, I was like, "Oh, did he tell you that he cheated on his girlfriend?" And well, because he, he was telling me that his girlfriend cheated on him. Oh, and I was like, oh, I've been that's in both, so both fucked situations. Up. But then he's like. Well, I cheated on her first. Um, I was like, oh, well, fuck you, bro. Like, <laughs> I, why are you trying to make me feel bad for you, dog? Like, yeah, he came up to me and he thought I was going to bro it out with him. Like, yo, bitches be bitches. And I was like, well, no, no, no. You sound like you're the asshole. Why would you do that? And, then, and I was like, yo, w w you hung out with people that thought that was cool. And he goes, yeah, I guess I was hanging out with the wrong people. <laughs> Damn. I go, no shit, bro. But let's just rewind it, right? Say we're pieces of shit, like the bitch. And we, we're just... <laughs> That's the old me. No, I'm just That's kidding. the old no, me. No, 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 no. You, you, you had a right to be... I mean, no, you had no right to be. <laughs> no, I was a complete She was a asshole, nice woman, bro. too. I met her. She's beautiful, and maybe one day it'll still, you know, it'll work out. I promise you it won't. I probably not. My mom <laughs> That's a promise, huh? But, I uh, promise you it won't. You got to go through certain things to realize certain things. Bro, you broke 100%. up with her to go on Fuckboy Island. <laughs> Was that your resume? Was your resume just being like, I'll break up with my girl right now. <laughs> Say less. Stop. Say less. And just his email. Not even anything else, just his email. It was HBO Max, though. <laughs> oh, wait, say less. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't know it was HBO. Got that Twitter verification. Uh, I got mine removed. Not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> you mine. lost your... Yeah, bro. And they wanted me to pay eight bucks a month for it. I was oh, like, go yeah. fuck yourself. X. I'm not, it, like, X. Usually, if you already have your check mark, you shouldn't get a removed to then have to... That's fucked up. You should get a different color check mark than people that have to pay for it. 
Yeah, I don't know. I just there felt like different it was weird. Yeah, yeah. because yours is real. Like, can we go, go back to, to the cheating thing, okay. please? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just want to circle back. Like, yeah, how fuck you, Division. How do you? How do you? How, okay, okay, perfect. Yes. We have a cheater here. <laughs> okay, hey, listen, <laughs> cheater, cheater. The listen. title is interviewing a cheater. I don't speak this language. I'm great. The old you. The old you. Okay, the old you. Tap into before before you were born again. Uh how did you sleep at night? And also, like, how George? did? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I, I was mean... sleeping with other women. George, so it was cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was really cozy. It was great. Oh, yeah. No, no. no you know? My my question is, is like, bro, like, <sighs> bro. Okay. I just I I can't tell somebody like I could over exaggerate a story for comedic yeah. purposes, but like a full blown like a lie, like nah. I ain't fucking nobody else. Yeah, but you're, you're 30, bro. You're old, you know? <laughs> it, you have a... You're old, Nobody's bro. told him yet, you, bro. You look right. You look right. But Divish, no, I think... Nobody's told him did yet. Did you just hear him? Are you serious? He just called you old. You look older than me. Is this my last day on the job? I think this is it, bro. <laughs> no, bro, it's like you learn certain things as a man with time, right? Mm -hmm. And so yeah, when, you're, when you're in a relationship in your early 20s, late teens, like, you're not going to be perfect. You're going to fuck your, shit up. In your house growing up, did your father ever <laughs> cheat? He was, like, like, he was like, fuck as many girls as you want, bro. <laughs> Wait, really? No. Oh, okay. No, of course not. Because my dad was like this. Hey, brother, come on. Hey, go out, have fun. <laughs> and then when you get married, you get married. Like that. I was like, all right, tell married me Married is the line. Because, you know, Middle Eastern is like, you, you, not any Middle Eastern, but a good man who gets married, that's like, you can't fuck around there, right? Yeah. There's some people that I know that cheat. Until they're married. And that's their, like, moral compass. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's How does your marriage last at that point? Because like, you so programmed your mind if to, like, got, cheat. And then If we got married and the night of our wedding, I found out that when we were dating, oh, because we were married, you, you I'm done. And all nights oh. we're done. Yeah. Like, is there's there no ever way. Is there ever a scenario where there's second chances, though? Huh? Is there ever a scenario where there is second chances? No, you cheat on me, we're done. It's done. Okay. Yeah, yeah. George, don't slip up, buddy. You're in trouble. But what if some dude was, like, robbing somebody, right? Like, everybody get the fuck down. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm going to shoot this seven-year-old unless somebody fucks me <laughs> right now. <laughs> Wait, so it's a dude? He has a point. <laughs> so you cheated with That's a dude? <laughs> We know what's on your I'm mind sorry, now, I'm sorry, George. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you can't. I, I mean, no. correction. No. This young woman that I brought here. No, that's even weirder. So it's that's still even, a dude. That's, that's weirder. That's Wait, weirder. so it's still a dude. Oh, my God. All right, so cheating All is just right. never okay. What was your setup like? And did you tell her or did she catch you? Uh, No comment. I can't. I can't. That's fair. I don't know why that... Wait, wait, good question. You want to tell the world you cheated, but no. you don't want to tell them how you got caught? The moral... Okay, I got caught because... Uh, how did I get caught? Oh, you forgot. That's how you got. Well, caught. no, there was multiple times. Like I was a serial cheater, bro. Like it's You were that oh. bad? Yeah, I was awful. I had no conscience. That's the problem. Wait. Mm. No way. So it just didn't affect your soul. Because so my train of thought about it, right? Is that like I have way too bad of like anxiety over these things. Like yeah. if I just don't know I don't even know the first beginning steps, right? You're okay, you're in a relationship and then you get a message from somebody and it all begins with messages, right? You're either on mm -hmm. the phone or you're texting. That anxiety. Like you have to set up the whole thing. Then you have to go. You have to drive. You okay. have to take a trip to this place with anxiety bubbling in your I I would die. I would have a it's heart an attack and die. Adrenaline. Some people might like that. To me it's like, okay. <clears throat> I I'll never forget this. I was hanging out with somebody who was very very established. And uh, he was like, yeah, who doesn't cheat? Mm. Like that. And I said, Whoa. I don't. And he's like, well, and I, and I said, I don't want to work with a cheater. And he was like, everybody cheats. And in my mind, I was like, dude, I wouldn't want to do business with somebody who cheats. And I'll tell you mm. why. Yeah. Because if you're going to cheat on the woman that you're sharing a bed with, a home with. Uh, Kids, potentially. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're sharing that much and that's supposed to be your right hand, like... Mm. If you see me mistreating Bella, she's my right hand, yeah. then, like, what the fuck am I going to do to you? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you're Facts. you're not the girl. I'm like, you could always say business is business. You can't family. do that with your girlfriend. No, it's disgusting. <laughs> like, you know, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm you, sorry, like, but I just find it No, so like, funny. you cheat, you yeah. have sex with another girl, another man, and then that same night you go back to your person and you sleep in the same bed. It is gross. And I understand that I was that person and it sucks. But you can't change the past. But like, Have you talked forward, to your ex that you cheated on? You want to know a funny story? I tried to get her back. So I sent her DoorDash every day for like four months. <laughs> and literally every single day, like sprinkles, cupcakes, steak, like everything that she loved. And then eventually I got a text from her mom being like, or her dad, sorry, her mom passed away. Her dad and was like, uh, you got to stop sending her DoorDash. 
And so that's when I was like, all right, I should probably stop. Oh. Well, you know what, though? Nice try, man. Oh, the father had to reach out. Oh. Was, you know yeah, what, though? At least this is something that you did, and you know it's wrong, and you're like, you're not like. It's, it's bad, yeah. You're honest about it, you're admitting it, <sighs> and you've worked on it. And that's a really big yeah. thing. We as can't change as, the so past. Can, yeah. All you can do <laughs> is be better. Yeah, all you can do is change your future. Don't cheat. You. It's not cool. Do you think you'd ever cheat again? No, I literally just said, don't he cheat. He says not yes. Cool. He's like, oh, I don't know. I thought about it. I'll probably cheat right now. <laughs> no, never. It's it's not good, guys. Oh, there's no shot, bro. I would, I would, would every time I look at the person I'm with, I'd just be like. Yeah. How yeah, can like, you think about anything else? This could come out at any moment. This, something, somebody's going to come through his door. Like, I don't know what I would do if I found out you cheated on me. I don't know what I would do. I, I would I'd be scared to you. <laughs> find out <laughs> that I cheated on it. I think you would just walk away. Me? You just, yeah. No, I, no. If she cheated on you, I think you would just kind of walk away from it. Like, yeah. But you'd be hurt as fuck. Like, talk about trust issues, bro. Yeah, I would. Oh my god. It would, if yeah. Belle cheated yeah. on me, oh, I just like I our relationship would be strained from yeah. that. Like oh, it would yeah. affect everything. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, so don't right do that, though. Okay, so Bell, knock it off sooner rather than later, okay? <laughs> Damn. Oh, well, no. this got a little dark. You Hurt just thinking about it, huh? Hey, bro, he was just talking about how he's cheated. Like, <laughs> All the nothing. DMs are like, watch her. She's been with Steve Wadu and your manager cheats. You better be not leaving them together. And I was bro, like, oh, stop no. it, bro. Start, start that rumor. Start that like, rumor. I don't ever even want to... I don't ever even want to go to an event and meet Steve in person because I don't want anybody Why ever even he'll do getting it? a picture. Oh, you know? That was great. Well, well done. This, this, this stupid. If I you hate, ever want I a good piece of content, Bill. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> All right, so I got a story. Tell us. Let's go. Um, we're in Greece, and we're at this day party, and we're in the water, me, my sister, and my mom. And we have our stuff, you know, where our seats are. And I literally turn to my mom and I go, do you think anybody's going to take our shit? And my mom looks at me. She goes, I really hope not. But in a really stern way, like, I really hope not, Georgie. And I looked at her and I was like. (laughs) As if you planned something. Yeah. And I was like, did she, was that my responsibility to look after her? So I go, I mean, well, mom, you never know. And she goes, no, I do know. And it better not happen. Oh. <laughs> not okay. And she looked at me and she looked, not okay. And I Cattle. go, all right, there's definitely <laughs> a misunderstanding. So I go to her and I go, mom, what did you just think I said? And she goes, did you just say, has anyone taken a shit? Uh. And I was like, mom, did you think I was going to take a shit in the ocean? <laughs> and she Wait, looked really? at me, dude, this woman <laughs> really thought I had the balls. Dead. Everybody knows you pee in the ocean. Everybody pees in the ocean. Oh, of course. But to take a poop in the ocean? Floating log? Just kind of want to try it with you? Ew, what? I got to try it. That's so gross, just, dude. I got to try it. No. I got I to, gotta, like, I got to swim well, one day and just let one if out. If you're skinny dipping, it's one thing because then it'll, like, it'll, you'll poop and then it'll just kind of swim away from you. But if you're wearing trunks, it just gets messy because it's, like, stuck in there Smushed with you. in your body. Like, no, I'm talking about just, like, a quick... Sh- Oh, you pull down yeah, underwater. Yeah, yeah. Just a, a quick little, little slip around the just knees. Just a little pop slip. It out. Pop, pop, pull it back. No, it back no, in. no, no. And okay. does it float to the top or does it 100%. sink? 100%. It's going to float. Mm. It depends on the weight of the poop. Yeah. Mm. What have you been eating? Healthy, Carrots? not healthy. I don't know. I don't like any of this and I'm going to tell you why because you're giving people ideas and I'll be damned <laughs> yeah, if start, I go into a TikTok body trend. of water and there's a flowing poop in the water. Like, George Janko starts TikTok poopy trend. <laughs> Hashtag poopy in ocean. <laughs> I want somebody to comment in the comment section if they've ever pooped in the ocean. Maybe because on accident. I love peeing out into the... We should pin that comment. Into the... One into person the, that's the oh, balls. Oh, dude. We're going to start... Thank you. We're going to start You're pinning welcome. comments. I wanted to bring that up. Cool. I want to start pinning comments because I, I love the community of... like Because we read through all the comments. Mm-hmm. But now we're going to start... like Just to give you guys some incentive to share how you really feel about the pod. We're going to start pinning people. That's, that's really exciting. That yeah, ready. Uh, sh- before we wrap up, I wanted to talk about next week's drop. We have a, a lot of podcasts dropping that I'm very excited about. And next week is one it was three hours long. Mm-hmm. And it kind of changed my life, to be honest. Maybe not even the podcast conversation, but afterwards, uh, mm. we did an episode with Patrick David. <sighs> Big guest. 
First of all, David fucked me up because right before he walks in, I go, how tall is he? He goes, 5'7". Seven. Full confident. Google says 5'7". Five five seven. Seven. And I was like, bet. I'll look down at him for the first time. You know, This motherfucker, he was like 6'3", bro. Big he walks guy. Out, I was like, oh, I my was God. Very, he was, he was big. Wrong. Yeah, I've seen online that he's 6'5". He's, uh, he's not 6'5". He's not 6'5", but that's what but I saw online. Tall yeah. dude. But the, the, he's a, uh, that episode, was it, it changed me. Like I'm not even. I'm not even. Jo- it literally changed me how yeah. I think. Um, mm. So much wisdom. So much wisdom, and like, he's so badass at the same time, bro. He's fucking you cool, know. bro. He's really cool. Uh, that episode's really good. So make sure you guys tune in next week. Patrick bit David. Something you're not gonna want to miss. I promise you, it's gonna be three hours of just like whoa, deep, real deep, conversations. Deep, deep conversations. Yeah. Not like this. Yeah. Schmuck of a yeah. podcast, <laughs> but honestly, these are my favorite podcasts. Yeah. And I know I read some comments of people be like, "You're cutting over each other." He's so mean to his girlfriend, and da, da, da. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> how do you guys talk? Yeah, for real. That's how you stuff. talk with your friends. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like I say something, and, and then you... I'll say something. Oh, 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 oh. wait, seriously, don't talk. Keep it going. Oh, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna come back next week with Patrick Beck David. Yeah. And it's gonna be a very good show. Like and subscribe. And don't forget.